So what is Kick live streaming app? So as you can see, it's getting pretty high in the charts these days. It's actually even in the top charts in overall apps in the US App Store these days. Yeah, because the app was just released. So this is an iOS app. Um, and it says it's one of the fastest growing application for live streaming, as you can see here. Um, uh, yeah, and it's considered one of the alternatives for Twitch, actually. So yeah, it has a lot of ads and it says Geek gives the power back to streamers and the right tools and sub split to monetize their content. No strings attached. Join us for free to immediately enjoy live streaming content from all walks of life. Enter a new era of content creation on kick.com where our creators and viewers are a top priority. This website, uh, this app uh, is not like a YouTube or anything. It's just focused really on live streaming. Um, so yeah, you just have a lot of live streams in different categories going on here. Before it was possible to visit the website kick.com on the browser. It got a lot of tractions, a lot of different niche streamers started to post their content there and now they finally re released iphone app so it's like pretty exciting super new app uh, there might be some bugs and issues but this yeah it's a nice time actually if you're a streamer to join this community from the beginning and you know in, in case this uh, takes off in future uh, or there are there are some big groups and communities here you can really start from the beginning and just like you can amass huge audience here uh, probably if it takes off um, <clears throat> so it says with a more lenient view on creation opinion and content kick will aim to bridge the gap between creators and the kick service putting them first throughout their journey um, join a streaming fan community worldwide and connect with other users and influencers who share your passions. Stay up to date with the latest gossip from your favorite stars, teams, and leagues. Create and manage your own personalized streams and showcase your knowledge and love for this community. Uh, with a 95.5% split on subscriptions, our offering for creators will be unrivaled. Um, so, seems they want to take some chunk of the market from Twitch uh, with a bit better like um, subscription split with a more focus on just streaming and yeah, just one of the alternative apps. So you can just open it up. Here's how it looks like. Uh, there are all kinds of uh, streams here. It's not only gaming. You can see all the categories just chatting Fortnite, GTA, Call of Duty, like a lot of different kinds of streams in the app. Um, and yeah, uh, so you can just browse around. So you can also then just browse another way. So there are different categories uh, which you can go through. Then there are different clips. Um, then you can see what you are following, the categories you are following here. Then there is your profile. And actually in the app, uh, the, the, uh, the settings are quite limited. So I just really advise you to go through the, uh, to the website. And yeah, if you want to do some more customizations, you will need to go to the website. So here, if you just tap settings, You'll just be redirected to the website, basically. Uh, and then you just need to reload here. And then, for example, in settings, you can just get your stream URL and key. So that's basically how you start streaming. So that's uh, your stream URL and key. And then you can just use some, you know, your streaming service or like your restream. I'm not uh, personally a streamer myself. <laughs> I just try to do some you know, a few streams on YouTube, it didn't go that well. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I don't know all the technical details how to set up a stream, but if you're a streamer, probably that's what you need just to get started. Uh, like to start a stream, it's not integrated in the Kick app itself. So it's not like YouTube where you can just tap a button and you just I uh, start streaming. Nope, you just need to set have your own setup. You are some tool via Restream. 
and then you just use your channel uh, information to stream to this app. Mm. So that's basically the idea. And then you probably will just have all of these recent broadcasts, recent categories, uh, clips available on this app for you. Um, so yeah, that's basically how it looks like. That's the idea. Um, You can go through it. Um, as you can see, there is really like very minimalistic kind of design. If uh, uh, on the app, uh, majority of functionalities in settings are just in the in the website. So here you can see your subscriptions. You can see your payment history. You can see your payment methods, which you can add. And there are settings, security. You can enable to your file. You can change your password. Then there is profile. Um, you can also add all of these different websites, uh, YouTube channels, you can add your bio, you can add your username, you can change your banner image, change your avatar. So that's uh, what you can do. I'm not sure how do you delete your account in case you want to do that. So that's a bit strange. They don't have it here. Um, uh, so that's what it is. Um, so hope that just gives you a little overview of what's uh, happening in the app. Um, then, for example, I can just go to like any channel which I'm following and then <clears throat> Uh, I can just tap to subscribe. So I can just tap in the bottom and then uh, I will see all the different badges uh, which are available to me after I subscribe. So that's what you can do. Then I can gift uh, to the community. Um, then there is chat, then there are clips, then there are videos, there are about. You can see about information for the streamer, for example. You can see all the gear. Um, and then you can also just unfollow. So you, you can follow. Following doesn't mean um, you are um, subscribing yet so you're just following and then uh, you just uh, enter in the chat and you can see the chat here uh, and then yeah it's like live chat to the video and that's basically how it works and <clears throat> now you can of course better enjoy it in the iOS app because it's it's much easier similar as YouTube app all of that like I'm not sure if there is Android app probably not so Probably at the moment it's on the iOS app, uh, but that that's what it is. So check it out definitely.